Hello friends, welcome to session 3 on orthographic projections. See here, there is an object here. Now the isometric projection has been given in this way. You just have to analyze this and after analysis, your objective is to draw the corresponding orthographic projections. That means the front view, top view, if possible, sometimes side view also. But here front view and top view has been drawn. See here, for writing the front view, always you have two directions of front view. Either you can take the front view this way or front view this way. But in the exam, wherever they have given front view, you have to stick to that only. Now, as you know here, there is the bottom solid is frustum of rectangular pyramid. Base is 80 by 60 rectangle, top is 60 by 40 rectangle, height is 55. And over this you have a solid hemisphere of diameter 50 or radius 25. Okay. See here, I'll repeat the bottom is 80 by 60 rectangle, top rectangle is this is 60, this is 40 rectangle. Okay, height is 55. Okay, when you look from here, when you look from here, this is the direction of ring tube. This edge will be parallel to VP. That means 60 will be this. And when you're looking here, this will be again parallel to VP. 40 will be this. Okay, in case the direction is this, this will be 80 and this will be 60. Okay, you have to correspondingly change. You have to be careful. You have to manage the show properly, please. Okay. You have to manage the show properly. Okay. Now they have given this. This is 60. This is 40. You draw this. You draw this 60. At center, you draw up. And height is 55. You take this 40. Okay. This is 60. This is 40. Then immediately after drawing that, you draw the corresponding top view. Okay. This anyway 60, this is 80, 60, this is 80 will represent bottom rectangle. Then this is 60, that is this is 60, this is 40, I have told you, no? this is 40, this is, this is 40, this is 60 will represent the top rectangle. Okay, draw these slant edges here, slant edges here. In that way, four slant edges, if you draw, it's a frustum of a rectangular pyramid. Okay. I think it is clear. This is 80, 60 bottom rectangle, 60, 40 top rectangle. That is this. Height is 55. Upon this, you have a hemisphere. Okay. Now, what do you draw? This hemisphere, you draw 25. Draw the semicircle and all that. Okay. As I've been telling you again and again, don't take any scale and all that. It is direct distances you have to write. Directly, whatever the distances you have, you should write actual distances. Okay, once you draw this, corresponding top you draw with center here. It is 25 radius, a 50 diameter, you draw this. Once you draw, this top square, some portion cannot be seen. That is from here to here. You split here, split here, split here and split here. You show dotted only between this and this. Okay. And show this 80, 60, uh, this 60, 40 and all the all dimensions, 55, radius 25, uh, C, 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 you can even show. Okay. Front view, top view show, X, Y, V, P, H, P in that way. This, if you do orthographic projections, given isometric projection will be complete in all respect. Did you follow? This is very important. And finally, right? This is the front view of the object. This is the top view of the object and all that. Okay, this is the a, uh, problem on two solids. The top solid is hemisphere, bottom solid is frustum of rectangular pyramid. Okay, bottom hexagon, bottom rectangle, frustum of uh, frustum of rectangular pyramid. Bottom rectangle is 80 by 60. Top rectangle is 60 by 40. Everything you know. That is what you should be trained is. Looking at top view front view itself, you should be in a position to tell the bottom solid is a rectangular pyramid, top solid is hemisphere. Look at the dimensions, you will know. One is 80 by 60 bottom rectangle, 
and there is 60 by 40 stop rectangle this is 60 this is 40 okay you can see that 40 rectangle okay in that way the problem is completed then the same way 10th problem you see 10th problem is <coughs> simple what you have done already okay see here this is the problem a bottom solid is hemisphere over that you have a sphere draw xy line vp hp you draw first thing is radius 25 okay radius 25 you draw actual radius 25 draw hemisphere draw hemisphere immediately draw the top view here as a circle of diameter 50 okay but upon that next that is for bottom solid is over then you go for the top solid when you go for the top solid top solid is a sphere of diameter 50, uh, 60 okay circle of diameter 60 you draw here and in the in same center draw a circle of diameter 60 when you draw a circle of diameter 60 this is 50 no when you are looking from the top this circle cannot be seen that is why you make it as dot dotted okay when you make it as dot dotted it will be completed in all respect that is you start from xy vp hp one first uh, always concentrate on the bottom solid first first complete the bottom solid which is hemisphere of radius 25 immediately write the corresponding top view then you go for the next solid okay uh, you go up by some 30 and draw a circle of radius 30 so that diameter is 60 immediately can complete the a top view of it when you are looking from the top this bottom circle cannot be seen that is why you make this particular portion dot dotted. In that way, you are able to complete the orthographic projections. Front view, top view of the given isometric object given. Okay. As you see in this direction. And uh, this is the front view direction. Even if the front view direction is this, I think the front view top view would not have changed. Okay. This is how you are completed. Now next, draw the orthographic projection for the isometric object shown. Okay, see here, this I am telling you, this we have done it already. Uh, take care here, please. Uh, here, as you see here, this bottom solid is hexagonal prism. Top solid is a cone, cone of diameter 40 and height 50. Okay, now if you do this way, it will be better. Okay, you see here, uh, this object they are given okay this object they are given as your the bottom solid anyway hexagonal prism you know very well it has 18 edges six of the top surface six of the bottom surface and one one two two three three four four five five six six in that way six vertical edges totally making 18 edges see here since i have named here try to understand you you don't have to name it in the exam if you name it, it will be good. Okay. Now, see here. When you are looking from here, they are given this direction. Left most uh, edge is what? 3, 3, no? Okay. 3, 3. Right most edge, edge is what? 6, 6. Sir. In that way, it matches. Sir. Left is 3, 3, 6. Uh, right is 6, 6. Sir. Okay. Front is 4, 5. Okay. Back is 1 and 2. This is all the thing. Now, how to start is, in this, sir, you can't directly draw the front view first. Draw hexagon first. Hexagon of sides 40 you draw first. Once you draw hexagon of sides 40, take it to the front. Height is 60, no? Height is 60. Height is 60. When height is 60, this you complete. Now as you see here, this is 3 dash, 3 1 dash. 4 can be seen, 2 cannot be seen, 4 dash, 2 dash. 5 can be seen, 1 cannot be seen, 5 dash, 1, 1 dash, 6 dash, 6, 1 dash. Exactly this way, please understand here, when you are looking from here, 4 can be seen, 2 cannot be seen. That's what I have said, 4 dash bracket, 2 dash. When you are looking from here, 5 dash, 5 can be seen, 1 dash cannot be seen, 5 dash bracket, 1 dash. Now, as you see here, when you are looking from here, it is front to direction, you are looking in the direction of perpendicular to VP, okay? That means you are writing the front view. Okay. Now, you should please compare whether what I have done is correct or not. You must check. Left, when you are looking here, 
left most extreme edge over left most left most extreme vertical edge is 3 3 that is 3 3 right most vertical edge is 6 6 that is 6 6 okay and the front vertical edge is 4 4 just behind that you have 2 2 that is why 4 4 4 just behind that 2 2 print again 5 5 just behind that 1 1 5 5 just behind that 1 1 in that way you have 6 edges here 6 edges here 1 2 2 and 1 totally 6 here 6 here 6 here 18 edges are over in that way looking at uh, front view and top view you know very well it's a hexagonal prism okay off sides 40 and height 60 then you what you do you know it is a cone of diameter 40 and height 50 what you can do is draw a circle of diameter 40 okay otherwise also this 40 you draw go to a distance of 50 draw tri triangle and draw the circle also anything can be done okay when you're looking from here this is this diameter will be 40 this you can draw it as 40 and height is anyway 50 draw 50 the front view of a cone is a triangle draw triangle okay and then draw the corresponding top view otherwise also draw triangle the circle 40 anyway diameter is 40 take the projectors up okay then go to a height of 50 draw triangle in that way you are able to complete the two solids uh, one above the other in orthographic right finally front view and top view xy vp hp and all that should be there this is the orthographic projections writing front view top view is the orthographic projection okay then another problem 12 you see here in this way it is same as the previous problem where same 100 percent same as that only thing is in the previous solid it was the core now it is a sphere of radius 30 or diameter uh, diameter 60 okay same thing i have taken this direction as the uh, front view left extreme edge is 3 3 3 3 3 dash 3 dash right extreme edge is 6 dash 6 dash 4 is nearer 4 is nearer 2 is away 2 is away and 5 is nearer that is nearer nearer to observer 1 is away 1 is away and right extreme edge is 6 6 in that way okay this is 6 dash 6 dash is right extreme edge and totally 6 here 6 here 1 2 2 1 totally 18 edges okay then how to you actually would have started is draw an hexagon of size 40 and as per this they, you can name it 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 1 1 2 2 even if you don't name it also nothing happens okay you name it in any way but you should know how to name it correspondingly if i start from 3 3 you should know 3 dash 3 dash if you start from 1 and 1 you should make it as 1 dash 1 dash okay even if you don't name it also it's okay draw hexagon of sides 40 and take it to the front draw the corresponding uh, front view height 60 see that this is darkened this is darkened here six edges here six edges here one here darkened edge two edges here the uh, darkened edge two edges here one darkened edge totally six okay here as you know here five is merging with one one four is merging with two two okay after that you go to a height of 30 draw a circle of radius 30 okay radius 30 so that cylinder sorry sphere is drawn then immediately draw the corresponding top view also 60 and uh, 60 diameter radius 30 that means when front view is a circle of diameter 60 top view is a circle of diameter 60 you know very well it has to be a sphere okay in that way we have completed orthographic projection of two solids one above the other the base solid is hexagonal prism and top solid is a sphere i have written it both in the front view and top view do carefully in this way xy vphp show all the dimensions that is important 40 60 and this is 60 diameter this is 60 diameter in that way you show already or you show in this way okay this will be given knowing this you are completing the orthographic projections okay this is at uh, this we come to the end of session three on basics of orthographic projections we'll continue in session four thank you for watching